Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm not doing like a tutorial on any certain look or anything. I did not even intend on filming today, but I realized how to record higher quality on my phone. So I, so I was like, okay, I'm going to test it out. And so I set my phone up and started recording and I was like, okay, well I might as well make a video. So I made a video, but it is so, so shambly. So... <laughs> Just for the heck of it, I decided to edit it a little bit, put in some music, and talk um, about how dumb I might look, and I just decided to share it, maybe to give you a chuckle or two. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not even really going to talk about the products I'm using, because that's not really the point of this video, but like, I guess I can mention them. Um, you can also see Devin in the background. <laughs> the angle in this whole video is so bad. Um, I sit at the window and he plays video games on the TV over there and usually you can't see him. You might see his like chair move or something, but you can never really see him. But today you, you can see him in the background. So yeah, there's that. Okay, so new product. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me, um, like, con not concealer, foundation stick. Um, I've been really been wanting to try this, um, and I know I said I was not a huge fan of the Maybelline Fit Me line, and I'm still really not sold on it, but this product isn't too bad. I would say it has on me on this color, medium to full coverage, but I'm blending it out with a buffing brush from Ulta. Uh, that is not the right brush to use with this. I don't know what you use with it. I feel like a sponge, especially the sponge that I have by Real Techniques, would not do well, like, at all. So, I just tried, I tried to blend it out, and it worked pretty well. Um, but later on, I do go over it with the Maybelline Fit Me Liquid Matte Poreless Foundation. Um, but yeah, this has pretty good coverage for being in a stick, and I took flipping forever on my foundation today. Foundation and mascara took forever today, so I just kind of skipped through it. Um, oh, there it goes. Oh, did I drop it? Yep. Oh, look at that face. Mm, mm, yeah. Alright, going in, I think, with the second layer. Yep, yeah, second layer from the stick, because I did it yesterday. I did a look where I did two layers of the stick foundation and then the liquid foundation, and I got perfect coverage and the perfect look that I wanted so that's what I did again today but man that buffing brush is not the trick I don't know what the trick is I'm not a professional you guys know this I don't know I'm gonna figure it out just along with you guys I don't know what I'm saying to Devin this video is so shambly oh and forgive my hair I was like I'm not gonna do my hair today I'm gonna wear it in a bun but in this video it looks so bad I my my hair you see the random strands of like blonde, green, gray, whatever. Uh, it was blue, and I have not touched it up in a very long time. So it's a it's a bad green going through my hair. But yeah, uh, that's bad. I'm sorry. So here I am with the liquid foundation going in over the stick foundation, and I'm buffing that out with the with ooh, words with the Real Techniques stipple brush. Stipple? Stipple brush? I don't know. Another new product is the Maybelline Concealer... What is this? I don't even know what this concealer is. It's not in front of me anymore. It's with the blue lid, whatever. I heard it was a dupe, maybe, for an Urban Decay concealer. I wasn't really looking for a dupe for that. Well, I kind of was, but I just needed a new concealer because in my last Get Ready With Me, I talked about how the Fit Me concealer was burning my under eyes, so to heck with that, and I got this, and I really like this. The coverage on me is really, really good. I really like it. Um, I got, I think, the lightest color. It is lightest or second to lightest. I don't know. I don't even know the name or the number of it. Because, like I said, I'm not really talking about the makeup here, but I'm going to mention it because this is a makeup channel. Um, but yeah, I like this. It doesn't burn my eyes or anything. So, 
go Maybelline. I hope it doesn't change because the Fit Me did not burn my eyes also at first. So I hope this stays true. So now I'm um, setting that concealer with the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder, and that powder is going everywhere. It was hella messy today. Um, I'm not really trying to bake or anything. Um, it might look like I'm trying to bake my under eyes, but that's not really what I was going for. What I've started to do um, is I do my found excuse me, I do my foundation, and then I uh, let the uh, translucent powder sit on my under eye, do my eyes, and then the translucent powder, um, on me anyway, catches the fallout from my eye makeup, so I let it catch the fallout, and then I uh, just wipe it all away, so yeah, and now I'm doing my eyes with a Makeup Revolution palette, nothing too fancy, I just went in with a light brown for the transition shade, and then a whitish, beigeish shade for the lid and that was it. See, I completely just dropped my brush. I mean, that is like nothing compared to the shambles that I went through today. Like, you will see the shambles just gradually get worse. I don't know what was wrong with me today. I don't know. Okay, and I also just realized I'm using a lot of new products, so I will definitely have to make a video on the new products that I've gotten, or, like, make a video using a lot of, new, a lot of the new products that I've gotten. Didn't realize that so much. So, yeah. So I guess maybe bronzer was another thing I took forever on doing today. Um, yeah, today I just could not really <laughs> blend anything out, and I was really wondering why, until I realized I forgot to set my liquid foundation with a powder. I just I just went in straight on with the um, powder bronzer and powder blush and everything, and if you'll if you notice here, um, especially on the other cheek, my blush was really really patchy, and I was just like, what is happening? Like I know I'm not that great at makeup, but I know I'm not this. Bad. So I was really confused. Can you see that patchiness? It's so bad. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know what was going until I realized what happened. And there goes the phone. Oh, oh, oh man. Frankie. The face of realization. That is the moment I realized I forgot to set my face. I don't know what made me remember it, but I just all of a sudden realized, hey, you didn't set your face. So way to go. Granted, it is 12, almost 1230 um, at night, and my makeup still looks pretty good. So I guess today I got lucky and didn't really need it. But trust me, I need to set my face. So lesson learned.
and let the Lord be with me whenever I do top eyeliner. I tried it today, as you can see in this video, and you will see it. You will see the exact reason as to why I do not do liquid eyeliner on the top. And I especially do not do wings. If you ever see me do a wing, I don't know. Pigs must be fine because I cannot do it. Now that I did turn out pretty well because I ended up fixing everything, but I mean, I had to edit out a lot of shambly handwork there. And I mean, it's happening on this side too. You can see it. Oh, it's so bad. I don't know how girls do it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm so done with the eyes right now. And for the finale of all finale of shambles, check out that mascara. I did not realize that my mascara hadn't dried yet. Oh, it's the icing on the cake right here. I was so done. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you made it this far. And yeah, I will see you next time in my much better video. Bye!